Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? Dom Richie here, and today I'm gonna be covering another one of my favorite decks coming out of this format. You'll catch that I play a lot of fun stuff over here, and that is going to be Diplin with Hisuian Lilligant V-Star. Now, Diplin, as we know, has that Festival Lead ability, which if Festival Grounds is in play, Diplin can attack twice. With that Do the Wave attack, which does 20 damage for each bench Pokemon, you're probably hitting around 200 with no damage modifiers. We also have Thwacky with that Boom Boom Groove ability, which states once during your turn, if your active Pokemon has the Festival Elite ability, you may search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. Then you're shuffling your deck. Now we do play Goldeen, so that maybe we could start Goldeen as that Festival Elite Pokemon. We can start searching as early as turn two. And then obviously we do have this Hisuian Lilligant V-Star, which does have that Star Perfume V-Star power. Now Star Perfume says during your turn, you may search your deck for up to five in any combination of Grass Pokemon and grass energy cards reveal them put them into your hand now what does this mean well we could f essentially find two thwackies and two diplin and a grass energy to attack or whatever combination of grass pokemon we might need now that 200 damage it's good but it's not great so we do play a lot of damage mods including that maximum belt which means we're hitting an ex pokemon for up to 300 damage but we do also have this cure in which would mean we're doing up to 360 to an ex pokemon We've got cards like Vitality Band, which would mean we're doing up to 280 damage, or Choice Belt, which would mean we are swinging for that 300. Yeah, is it 300? It's 310. Maybe it'd be what? 30, 60. It'd be 320, 320 damage to a Pokemon E or Pokemon V. So in general, like we've got our damage mods. We have the Rescue Board for Goldeen. We've got Carmine in case we go first. And then we're essentially just playing as consistently as we can with cards like Bug Catching Set. Buddy Buddy Poffin, Nest Ball, Ultra Ball, Lanazade, and that Pal Pad. We do run six Grass Energies, and that's kind of just the list. So let's jump into a game, let's see how it functions, and I'll have that list down in the description below so you can also test this deck out. Let's jump into it. All right, here we go. Call it starting flip. We're going to go Heads. Heads seems to be work pretty well for us here. There's another Heads. We're going to choose to go first here. Hopefully, we find a Buddy Buddy Poffin. Hopefully, we can set up a little bit. Um, that's kind of like, as long as you set up, you're looking relatively really good with this deck. Those two nest balls are huge. That Arvin in our hand is also huge. Maybe we prize a basic Pokemon, Hisuian Heavy Balls Clutch for us. Means we don't have to prize check too, so that's pretty good. Normally I don't prize check for these videos just because you don't want to sit here and watch me prize check, right? So let's see, here we are playing against Dragapult. We do have that Relo Rabska in our hand. That's really, really strong here. Let's go with Hisuian Heavy Ball. There is one Applin. We did prize Rescue Board, a Festival Grounds, Diplin. Not great. The Rescue Board being prized is actually quite bad for us. Just because it does mean we are... It's a struggle to get out of Goldeen. We do have that switch in our hand, though. So let's go. We'll grab Grookey. Um, and then I'm thinking we might actually just grab that Hisuian Lilligant. And then Lilligant next turn does find us some Grass-type Pokemon. Um, and then we're probably just going to go pass here. It finds us Grass Energy, Grass-type Pokemon. It just finds us everything we need. So for that reason, I think it's probably a really good card here. Um, as long as we can find like that Festival Ground, um, I think we're probably looking very good here. We could potentially get that Turn 2 Donk if they can't set anything up. Uh, they do have that Lance. They are going to set up some Dreepy, but we're definitely KOing 2 Dreepy here, so... That's unfortunate for our opponent here. They do go Dreepy, Draclo, Dragapult, which like they might think is fine. They might not know how to play against Festival Lead, but unless they bench another Pokemon, this is probably going to be it next turn. There's an Ultra Ball here. Let's see what they Ultra Ball for. Draclo, Iono dumped is scary for them. I probably would have just ripped the Iono. There's the Luminion, so they could just go into Luminion here next turn, which would be fine, but then Luminion is stuck in the active spot. So let's see what happens. That switch in our hand is really strong. Luminion for Arvin there. They have already used Lance, so they can't even use the Arvin yet. Um, so we are definitely taking a prize card this turn. I can all but guarantee that, I think. Um, let's go into Rabska. Uh, if we Arvin here, we can go Arvin for... Let's grab Vitality Band, I think. I think, well, we have to dump a tool here. We have to grab Ultra Ball plus Vitality Band, and then we have to grab... We have to dump this Carmine plus Vitality Band, unfortunately. 
uh, just for that Hisui and Lilligant V-Star. And that's going to find us all the outs we need to attack this turn, at least. So here we'll go Star Perfume. Uh, with that, we're going to grab Applin, Diplin, Thwacky, Grass, Grookey, maybe. That seems okay. I don't mind this. Then we're going to go Diplin, Thwacky, attach this Grass Energy here. We could go Switch. Boom Boom Groove for Festival Grounds. Here is... Where's Festival? There's the Festival Grounds there. We can bench. Oh, it's kind of tough. I'm thinking we might get knocked out next turn. So I'm actually going to bench another Diplin. Or another Applin there. We're going to bench that Festival Grounds. And we're going to do the wave for the first time. Knocking out this Dreepy. Let's see what our opponent promotes before we attack again. They promote Dreepy. It's probably just GG's. Uh, there's the Festival Ground. So let's see what our opponent promotes here. They promote Luminion here. Then we are going to do the wave for another 100 damage here to this Luminion. And the next turn, we're going to be able to combo this Luminion here. We can find a boss's orders and take a knockout on Luminion. And then another Pokemon once again. Because Dragapult doesn't have the HP to survive anything from our Diplin. So, well, Dracloak, not Dragapult. Like... Dragapult definitely has the HP. Dragapult, we'd have to go Max Belt plus Kirin, which isn't impossible. But, like, we're probably not finding that. There's the rare candy Dragapult. There's a Dreepy coming down. So, the Dragapult's definitely a little bit scary here. Or a Seal Stone to Luminion. They're going to find that Neo Opera energy, but are they going to have the switch? Uh, the Neo Opera is definitely scary for us here because we don't have that rescue board. So we're getting stuck in a Goldeen here. They can't spread damage counters to our bench because of Rabska. So Rabska's clutch up for that. Um, and then let's see what they go into here. They have already used that Arvin if I'm not correct or if I'm not incorrect. Yeah, there's the Arvin there. Let's see what they can make happen. Um, we are going to be ahead on prizes a decent amount here. So there's Earthen Vessel here. But what are they going to discard? They don't have many cards in their hand. There goes that Iono. Grass Fire. So they don't play the Neo Upper Energy. They may have found maybe Reset Stamp. Not too sure at the moment. They're just going to go past, which is going to give us that three rise lead. Here's a crazy bug catching set. That is beyond clutch. Let's grab Grookey plus this Grass Energy. We can attach a Grass Energy to this other Diplin here. Now, uh, Serena EX's Parallel Spin doesn't do... Or Lilligant EX, not Serena. It kind of looks like Serena a little bit, though, right? Uh, 230 damage isn't a lot, and we don't play enough energy that it really matters. So here we can go Boom Boom Groove. Let's find another Diplin here, so we can get that other Diplin set up at least. Um, we're not finding any other outs to do too much damage here. So we're probably just going to go do the wave. Whatever they promote is being either knocked out or taking enough damage that we knock it out next turn. So here's two prizes off of that. And then let's take our next attack here. We're either taking out Dreepy. There's Dragapult. So we're going to attack into this with 100 damage here. And that just sets it up for an extra two. Like we can just go uh, max belt and that's going to be 300 damage for the knockout. We don't need to find the other out with the Kirin or whatever we have. So Phantom Dive here is going to knock us out. There's Draw Cloak. Uh, they're going to go Artisan here. So we do have that other Festival Grounds in play at least. So that's all right. Um, we doing 220 damage in a turn is not possible for us. So like like attacking, we're not taking three prizes next turn is all I'm trying to say here. So there we go. They're going to go Recon Directive here. I don't think it matters. I think this game's just over at this point. I don't know. If there's any outs, unless they have like a boss's orders, Rabska, so they can start spreading damage. But even so, I think I'm set up enough that it's just fine. They're going to throw Lumen, Gra or Lumen Psychic, plus uh, that GP back into the deck. There's a Phantom Dive here. We're going to try to spread damage counters. It's just not going to work. We're just going to promote this other Diplin here. Goldeen is kind of tough here. We might actually need to run two rescue boards. However, I think one is fine. The odds you prize it are probably pretty low. Uh, let's see where they're going to put those damage counters. No damage counters can be placed. 200 damage onto that Diplin there. That's okay. We're going to promote the other Diplin. We still have that Festival Grounds in play. 
We're going to get another Grookey on the field. Um, actually, we might just go use Artisan for another Applin to set up another attacker in case they do get the knockout, right? So I think we're going to go Artisan here for that Applin. We've got that other Diplin in our hand here, so we're actually probably okay. Uh, let's go Festival Grounds. Let's go Boom Boom Groove. Uh, boom Boom Groove. We could find Vitality Band. I actually think Vitality Band. Choice Belt doesn't do anything. We di we dumped Vitality Band earlier. We have to remember that. So this Maximum Belt here. If they can get something else into play, we're probably in trouble. Um, not too much, but like a little bit. There's 150 damage once. We're going to swing again, and that's going to be the knockout on that Dragapult. And this is what's great. We've only got one Thwacky right now, but we're doing so much damage. And like so consistently like we haven't missed anything they do just go concede here it's unfortunate but it happens right and that's kind of like diplin's one of those decks i think it's actually just pretty solid um and especially against slower decks like dragapult everybody's like oh diplin gets destroyed by dragapult oh diplin gets destroyed like no diplin is fast bro like if we go first against chen pao and we can get like vitality band and a full bench we're just knocking out chen pao's turn one if we get that rab skin play they can't greninja us unless they get that like uh cologne play but that's okay too um and in general like the deck feels really really good hope you guys enjoyed this video uh diplin one of my favorite decks i did run a master class on it um if you guys liked this video make sure you subscribe we're getting very like not very close but we're getting we're over halfway to 500 subs which is the ultimate goal for the end of the year so let's hopefully we can make that happen before 2025 i appreciate y'all you guys have a great one see you later